Hello, this is uh, Mr. Herb Key. Um, we are in a house that he built a year ago, and um, we're gonna find out what he does for a living. So, Mr. Key, what do you call yourself, first of all? Well, uh, Matthew, to start out with, I'm retired from civil service at Fort Knox. I've uh, been retired uh, since 01. And so when I retired, I started building houses. I consider myself a builder. A builder, all right. As a builder, can you tell the students that are gonna see this, what does a builder do? Can you sum it up? It, uh, basically, you start out, uh, if you recall when you was a kid, it maybe you had uh, Lincoln Logs or Tinker Toys, mm -hmm. and you had all these pieces, and you put it together to build something. That's basically what I do. <laughs> okay. That sounds like it takes a lot of um, different trades. What are a couple of the challenges that uh, you've had as a builder? I guess every house I've done, I've uh, built about uh, 20 new houses, and I've had about 20 what I call resale houses, where I bought an old house and remodeled it and sold it. Uh, probably every house I did, somewhere along the way, I would think, this is probably my last house. <laughs> but then you uh, you get it sold and spring comes and the weather gets nice and you say, I might do one more. <laughs> That's okay. So what's something that you love about being a builder? I guess the, what I really love is uh, you take uh, somebody's idea, uh, you take a, a, a bare building lot or a piece of property or in this example here, a little farm and uh, you put a house there and it becomes a home to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess that's the passion and the love I have about building. From nothing to somebody's home, I love it. Um, what advice or direction would you give a young person who maybe wants to get into the trades and maybe work his way to becoming a builder? Okay, uh, for a long time, uh, it was very stressed. You had to go to college, you had to go to college, you had to go to college. And uh, it is good if you can, but some kids don't have, uh, it's just not their thing, I'll say it like that. And, uh, uh, but anymore, uh, I'll tell young people, I say if you always want to have a, 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 a living, a, a good job, get involved in any of the trades. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether it's a plumber, a builder, an electrician, whatever it is, you do a good job, you will always have a job. Um, and and some, some people just have a natural ability or a knack for it, but there's really good trade schools that teach these trades, and so there's avenues out there. When you see a house that you built, <laughs> it's a year later, let's okay. say. Um, what goes through your mind? Okay, now? it's like when I pulled in here t this afternoon and coming down the long driveway, uh, it made me glad because I remembered when there was nothing here. And I guess uh, one of the funniest things is, like say I'm driving down the road and uh, say uh, one of my sons or daughters with me or somebody's with me, uh, whoever it might be, and we'll go past the house and I point over there and I said, hey, I built that house. <laughs> and then the uh, little father down the road and says, hey, I remodeled <laughs> that house. And, and so usually everybody that's with me, they just go, oh man. <laughs> To me, I think it's rewarding. Uh, I like to build a house. It takes about 15 trades to come in and help mm. on that house. Uh, whether it's plumbing, electrician, somebody to do the gutters or whatever. And so there's all kinds of avenues. I've got a, a niece that's an electrician. And so just because you're uh, a young lady, uh, you can be a builder or mm -hmm. you can be a tradesperson. And so anyway, the opportunities are out there. Just find your niche and do it. 